make your own high quality poultry feed at home using available local feed stuff without compromising quality. On this topic, I will be teaching feed ingredients, feed evaluation, factors affecting feed intake, the digestive system of poultry beds, factors affecting voluntary feed intake in poultry and livestock in general, factors affecting the nutrient requirement of poultry bed at a particular season, the types of feed, the texture of feed, feed formulation, feed ingredients, and nutrient requirement of each poultry bed. We shall also discuss the equipment needed to produce your own feed at home and the feed intake of every stage of poultry bed from starter, grower, finisher, layers and breeders feed. All this will be discussed on this particular topic. Keep your subscription intact in this channel. Thank you. Let's go on. The dependence of man on poultry protein or protein from livestock and desire of the livestock farmer to see his animals express their full genetic potential necessitates a proper management of such animals. Livestock management entails the provision of an enabling environment or condition such as adequate housing, care, feeding, hygienic or hygiene etc. in all phases of growth or production so that the animal can perform very well. This will require an understanding of the management practices of different livestock species. In this content, I will be teaching specifically the feeding and nutrition requirement of poultry pets that will enable you to make your own feed at home and produce a very high standard poultry bed or egg weight egg size an outstanding one that will give you a very good profit in the market the term poultry used in agriculture generally refers to all domesticated birds kept for egg or meat production this includes chicken turkey dog geese guinea fowl ostrich ATC. Sometimes the term poultry is considered synonymous with chicken. We are aware that poultry meat and eggs are excellent form of human food. Raising of birds serves as a hobby for some people. The feathers are used for making pillows and mattresses. Eggs are used for producing various vaccines. Poultry manures is a source of plant food in, so in soil. Employment is also provided by poultry industry through rearing, processing, transporting, marketing, etc. of bears and bears products. Poultry enterprises are means of income to poultry farmers. Bears are high economy converters of feed. A day old broiler chief can attain a market weight of 2.5 to 3 kg at 8 weeks. Layers may be produced within 20 weeks of age. A poultry enterprise requires a low capital investment to establish. Bears are used for scientific experiments because they mature within a relative short period of time. We have different classes of chicken. We have the chicks, 
these are the young bears ideally at day old which are or which will eventually grow into adult bears that will be used for meat or egg production we have the broilers that are fast growing chicken normally reared for their meat they can attend a table size at eight, six weeks we have the cockerel which are male bears that grow slowly and attain a table size or a table weight of 2 kg to 2.5 kg in 16 to 20 weeks of age. They have two phases of growth, mainly starter, grower, or finisher stage. Then we have the noila, which is the newly breeded type of bird in Nigeria from Amor Hatchery. This noiler is a combination of broiler and local birds. They grow faster than the local chicken and slower than the broiler. They are for meat and eggs. This noiler can attain a market size within 16 weeks of age if properly well fed and properly managed. In this content, you see a video or the picture of the broiler attaining 6 kg in 20 weeks with a very good standard feed and management system like man farm animals require a regular supply of food to ensure a healthy and productive life food is a necessity of life and the most important factor in relation to the building of and maintenance of the body to understand how food is transformed in the body of the animals to meet the animal requirement for energy growth, repair of worn out tissues, reproduction and regulation of body function, it is necessary to study the nature and properties of the nutrient which constitutes food. The word feed is synonymous with food. Why food is used in reference to human? Feed is used for animals. In other words, feed is the food for animals. The food given to farm animals is referred to as livestock feed. The food or feed is any material that after being ingested or consumed by an animal is capable of being digested, absorbed and utilized by the body, either for maintenance growth, production, or reproduction. The components of feed or food that can be utilized by animal are referred to as nutrient. Nutrient is an or any feed constituent or group of feed constituents of the same chemical component or composition that nourishes and supports the preservation of life. Examples of nutrient are water, protein, carbohydrate, fat or oil, minerals and vitamins. Therefore, nutrition is the science of feeding animals with an appropriate diet for growth, development and reproduction. Nutrition deals with the science of nature of feed and feed nutrients. You must feed your animals to provide necessary elements for repairing the wear and tear of the body, to provide raw materials for synthesis of body tissues in growth, to serve as source of energy for vital processes in the body growth, work and production, for generating heat necessary for maintaining body temperature, to serve as raw materials for the production of milk, meat, egg or wool in the case or as the case may be in some animals. For poultry birds, they need concentrate feed to grow very well and achieve the market target. Generally, concentrate feed is low in crude fiber, not bulky, easily digested by poultry and supplies energy, protein and vitamins in large quantities and a high or high in digestible nutrients. Concentrate feed can be energy or protein constraint.
the energy concentrate has less than 18% crude fiber and is mainly feedstuff that is very high in energy or starch. It is highly digestible, low in protein, fiber, vitamins, and minerals. They constitute the bulk of the energy source for monogastric and other animals. Examples are cereal, grains like maize, guinea corn, wheat, so on and rest. Protein concentrate. The protein concentrate has less than 18% crude fiber. It is high in protein, low in carbohydrate and fat, low in minerals and is highly digestible. Protein concentrate can either be of plant or animal origin. For example of plant protein concentrate are granite cake, pumpkin cake, soya bean cake or soya bean meal. Animal protein concentrate include fish meal, blood meal, and protein byproducts. The minerals are high in vitamin and minerals. They are required in small quantities in feed to supplement basal and protein concentrates. They are low in energy, protein, and fiber. They largely aid food digestion and resistance to diseases. They are also necessary for growth and development. They include vitamins and minerals like vitamin A, vitamin B, vitamin D, vitamin K. The supplements are like the bone meal, the oyster shell, the limestone and others. We have the feed addictives. These are non-nutritive minerals or materials which when added to the food, improve the performance of animal, but whose absence from the feed does not constitute a nutrient deficiency. For example, the enzymes, the lysine, the methionine, all these are feed addictives. The components of feed that are absorbed and utilized in the bodies of animals or livestock after digestion are known as nutrients. The types of feed nutrients are water, carbohydrate, protein, fat and oil, minerals and vitamins. The water supplies The components of feed that are absorbed and utilized in the bodies of animals after digestion are known as nutrients. The types of feed nutrients are water, carbohydrate, protein, fat and oil, minerals and vitamins. Water is the simplest feed nutrient. It plays an important role in almost all life processes. Chemically, it is made up of the hydrogen and oxygen in the ratio of 2 is to 1. It is an essential component of the body of animals. The body of most animals contains 55 to 65 percent water and no animal can survive without second water. Water makes up of large part of the protoplasm and it is also a constituent of the blood and the lymph. Poultry diets must be formulated to provide all of the best nutrient requirements if optimum growth and production is to be achieved. There are six classes of nutrients, carbohydrates, the major source of energy for poultry. Most of the carbohydrates in poultry diet is provided by the cereal grains. Fat. These fats are provided or they provide energy and essential fatty acids that are required for some bodily processes. Protein requires for the synthesis of the body tissues, particularly the muscle, physiological molecules such as enzymes and hormones, feathers and for egg production. Proteins also provide a small amount of energy for the poultry birds. The vitamins Organic chemicals or chemicals containing carbon which help control body processes and are required in small amounts for normal health and growth of the poultry birds and other animals. 
minerals, inorganic chemicals, chemicals not containing carbon, which help control body processes and are required for normal health and growth of the farm animal or poultry beds. Factors affecting the nutrient requirement of poultry include the genetics, the age of the bed, the size of the bed, reproductive state of the bed, the ambient temperature, housing system, the head status, production aims. All these contribute and affect the nutrient requirements of the poultry beds. Let's start with the genetics. The species, breed or strength of the birds. Different species, breed or strength of birds have different average body sizes. Growth rate and production levels will absorb and utilize nutrients from feed with different levels of efficiency. Therefore, they will require feed with different nutrient composition. So when you are composing feed, you must bear this in mind that the species or the strength of the particular bird you are formulating feed for needs a different approach, different feed formula to enable them to grow well. The age of the bird is also very important to be noted. The nutrient requirements are related to the body or both the body weight and the stage of their maturity. If they are older, they need higher concentrates for them to achieve their body mass. The cysts. Prior to sexual maturity, the cysts have only small differences in their nutrient requirements and males and females can usually be fed the same compromised diet to achieve acceptable growth rate. Differences in nutrient requirements are larger following the onset of sexual maturity and significantly different diet formulation are then required for each cyst of poultry bed. The reproductive state, the level of egg production enhanced and sexual activity in males will affect the nutrient requirements. When the eggs, when the bears are about to lay eggs, they require enough nutrients, they require enough feed for them to give you a very good quality egg. The ambient temperature. Poultry have increased energy requirement to maintain normal body temperature in cold ambient temperatures and the opposite in hot ambient temperatures. Food digestion processes produce body heat, the amount of which will vary according to the nutrient composition of the diet. This is called the heat increment of the diet. In cold temperatures, it may be desirable to formulate a diet with a higher heat increment and the opposite in the hot temperature. That's why most farmers complain that my bears are not eating very well during the cold season. Yes, it is normal. But you need to change the feed formula to, for them to start eating very well. If not, they will not give you what you need. The housing system. The type of housing system will influence the level of the activities of the bears and therefore energy requirements. The health. If the bears are sick, they hardly consume enough feed, and that will make them drop either the weight or egg. Bears experiencing a disease challenge may benefit from an increase in the intake of some nutrients, most commonly the vitamins for them to recover quickly. Production aims. The optimal nutrient composition of the diet will vary according to the production aim, such as optimizing weight gains or carcass composition, egg numbers or egg size. Poultry that are raised for breeding purposes may need to have their energy intake restricted to ensure that they do not become obese because the obesity will cause or will reduce their egg production. The next point is the flock density. When you overflock your pen, when your pen is overpopulated with birds, they hardly consume a lot of feed and they hardly convert the feed. So, therefore, you must restrict your poultry stocking to the density, to the minimal density required for that particular size of the pen. 
for you to achieve a very good result. In addition, certain feed ingredients, poor feed quality or feed contamination can have adverse effects on voluntary feed intake due to poor palatability or presence of toxic factors. Suppliers of commercial poultry provide information on the optimal nutrient and feed intakes for their bears throughout the production cycle. Feed intake and production performance of flock should be monitored and adjustment made to the diet composition where required to keep performance on their track. Feed formulation Making your own chicken feed at home can help in cutting costs. Cost of purchasing the chicken feed is very high, but when you make your own feed at home, it reduces your expenses and maximizes your profit. Therefore, formulating your own chicken feed is advantageous because you will be able to control the quality, saving on the cost and feeding your chicken with high quality chicken feed will ensure that you maximize your profit. It's advisable to use locally available ingredients for your chicken feed. In addition, to using ingredients that are in season. This will help you further cut the cost of production. Farmers can grow or produce their own ingredients. Care must be taken while producing, handling and storing the ingredients so as to avoid contamination. This will lead to a lower nutritive value of the feed and sometimes diseases. When making chicken feed, the digestible crude protein formula is used. Without going into the mathematical calculation, the digestible crude protein formula is based on the total percentage amount of protein in the chicken feed ingredients. Each chicken feed ingredient has different amount of digestible crude protein. Layers and broilers require a different amount of protein at different stages of growth. Now, let us look at the specific example of each of the requirements or nutrient requirements at every stage of their lives. Broilers 0 to 4 weeks old requires 2,800 kilocalories per kg of feed. Requires 23% crude protein. One, at least 1% Cajun, 0.70% potassium, 1.25 lysine, 0.86 methionine, and 0.86 cysteine. 5 to 8 weeks requires 3,000 kilocalories per kilogram, 20 to 21% crude protein, 1% at least 1% cajun, 0.7% phosphorus, 1.10 lysine, 0.75 methionine, and 0.75 cysteine. Bullets 0 to 8 weeks of age requires 2,600 kilocalories per kilogram, 18% crude protein, 1% at least 1% cajun, 0.7% phosphorus, 1.10 lysine, 0.70 methionine, and 0.70 cysteine. Breeders, 9 to 20 weeks requires 2,500 kilocalories per kilogram of feed, 17% crude protein, 2.50 cajun, 0.60 phosphorus, 0.80 lysine, 0.53 methionine, and 0.53 cysteine. Turkey, 0 to 8 weeks, requires 2,750 kilocalories per kilogram, 28% crude protein, very important for young 
Kentucky, 1.2% Cashew, 0.80% Phosphorus, 1.50 Lysine, at least 0.87 Methionine and 0.87 Cysteine. Turkey breeders 9 to 20 weeks of age requires about 2,829 kilocalories per kilogram feed, 15% crude protein, 2.50 calcium, 0.75 phosphorus, 0.68 lysine, 0.58 methionine, and 0.59 16. Guinea fowl, 0 to 8 weeks requires 3,000 kilocalories of feed in the name of energy, 15%, at least 15% protein, at least 2.50% calcium, at least 0.7% phosphorus, 1.30 lysine, 0.53 methionine, and 0.95 the layer stage of the guinea fowl requires 2,600 kilocalories per kilogram, at least 15% crude protein, 2.50 calcium, 0.75 phosphorus, lysine 0.75, 0.35 methionine, and 0.6716. Duck. At the age of 0 to 8 weeks, requires 2,800 kilocalories of energy, 18% crude protein, or at least 1% calcium, 0.7% phosphorus, lysine 1%, methionine 0.5, cysteine 0.9. The layer stage of dog requires 2,800 kilocalories, 15% crude protein. 2.7% calcium, 0.6% potassium, lysine 0.65, methionine 0.35, and 0.6016. These are the nutritional requirements of different poultry bears at different stages of their life. You have to bear this in mind when you are formulating your homemade feed for your poultry beds. Now for broiler producers or farmers into broiler production. Bear in mind that broilers have different feed requirements in terms of energy. Because broilers are mainly for food, mainly for meat. If you want to have an outstanding weight in your broiler production, you may you should have different feed requirements in terms of energy, protein, and minerals during different stages of their growth. It is important that farmers adapt feed rations to these requirements for maximum production. Young broilers have a high protein requirement, as earlier stated, for the development of muscles, feather, and other body organs. If you want to make 6 kg in 8 weeks, you must feed your broilers very well at the early stage of life when their feed conversion rate is very high. If you economize their feed between the age of 0 to 4 weeks, forget about getting additional weight. In fact, that broiler may likely suffer nutritional deficiencies, which will result to outbreak of diseases and at the same time deter their growth. You cannot meet up with that your market target again. As broilers grow, their energy needs for fattening up increase, while their protein requirement decreases. I repeat, as broil as the broilers grow, their energy needs for fattening up increase, while their protein requirement decrease. They therefore require high protein content in their starter ration than in the grower and finisher rations. Broilers should have feed that has 22 to 24% crude protein. If you can adjust your formula to do that, you must certainly get 6 kg in 8 weeks or 4 kg in 6 weeks. 
the following guidelines can help the farmer to make the right feed at the stage of broiler life. Try as much as possible to use both animal source protein and vegetable source protein. Most especially, if you can have access to blood meal, it will give you a very high yield. Even if adjusting your formula to make sure that you don't make use of only the fish alone, make use of the blood meal, which has almost 90% crude protein and it is fortified with lysine. Therefore, making use of blood meal in your broiler feed will give you that result. Many farmers neglect the blood meal, but without knowing the, that poultry content of the blood meal is most richer than any other poultry source of the poultry feed. Now, if you want to reduce the costs of your feed, make sure you substitute maize for other grains or with cassava peel. Cassava peel is a very good source of carbohydrates or energy for the poultry bed. You can make use of it to reduce your cost of um, using maize, which is highly contested and highly costly and higher demand in the market because many people, industries, animals, and the rest of them make use of the corn. But cassava peel in some areas, some locations are west. So if you make use of the cassava peel, it's going to drop your feet, the cost of your feet very low. You substitute it up to 50% to help the maize side of it. The good thing is that both the cassava pea and all the cheaper grains, all of them have nearly the same energy level. So when substituting, you can replace maize with another grain or the cassava pea in the same quantity. When substituting your chicken feed formula ingredients, it is advisable to make a small batch and then test on a small number of beds. Observe their performance indices. The performance indices include weight gain and the number of eggs. If the performance drops, you can tweak your formula until you attain the ID formula, which you will keep and make use of it for a longer period of time. In this content, I will expose some outstanding feed formula. So make sure you watch this video from beginning to the end. You will see some feed formulas scrolling through the screen. These feed formulas have been tested and be satisfied and they have given me a very outstanding result for the past three decades I've been using them. It is important to do trial badges first before making chicken feed in large quantities. This allows you to test the quality of your chicken feed. An easy way to test it is isolate number of chickens. Feed them with your trial badge. Observe their performance. Brawlers will add weight very fast. You will see them improve. You will see your layers improve in the egg production and give you an outstanding egg size. You can also have your feed tested in a laboratory if you have the access to it. After your feed production, the next step you go into is the feed evaluation. Feed evaluation is the testing of your feed quality, providing information on the components of feed or feed ingredients as well as their suitability for poultry. Poultry feed is made up of Many ingredients, as earlier said, which are broadly grouped into providers of energy, as earlier said, protein, vitamins, minerals, and pro other products. Typically, cereals such as wheat, barley, so maize will provide energy, while soya bean, peanuts will provide protein, vegetable protein. Blood meal, fish meal, and poultry products ingredients will combine to give you animal protein and vitamins and minerals are very also are very important and they are also required in your poultry feed formulation in order to know what amount of these ingredients should be included in the diet the ingredients are first evaluated to see what nutrients they contain in what quantity after the diet has been prepared it may also be necessary to evaluate the complete product to determine its suitability for the class of product or class of poultry that will be fed, such as the layers or meat, chicken, breeders, etc. Feed evaluation is a key, it's a key process in the poultry industry. 
Feed ingredients need to be tested in order to formulate the complete diet. And diet have to be evaluated to determine the suitability for the product or for the poultry animal you want to feed. Evaluating your feed also provides you different types of information as, and also that is required by a nutritionist or a farm or the farmer is himself. In general, the range of tests that can now be performed is wide and it is now possible to obtain results rapidly. If you want to make an outstanding result in your poultry production, you want to achieve the 6 kg in 8 weeks, you want to achieve 4 kg in 6 weeks, you must not cut corners in your feed formulation and in the ingredients you use. Making sense of all different varieties of chicken feed can be very confusing for the first time and even semi-experienced chicken keepers. The mash, grower feed, medicated or unmedicated, there is so much jargon on the chicken menu. It can genuinely be quite overwhelming. That's why this trend is very important to you. If you are giving mash feed, many bears can take them, can accept them, can eat them quickly without having issues. But when you are giving pelleted feed, some bears, because remember that most of your bears grow bigger than others. So those smaller ones will find them difficult to swallow. So then we so then we pick them more than three times before eating it. And the bigger ones will be swallowing their own at faster and or quickly than other ones. Those ones will continue growing bigger. And at the same time, you will now have variations in your in the growth of your bears. So using mash will give you an advantage in your production once you want to achieve an outstanding result of that 4 kg in 6 weeks you have your starter feed do not use grower to give um, broiler starters broilers has two stages of life starter and finisher don't use um, don't use grower feed on broilers it is not important at all Starter feed is a protein-dense variety of chicken feed designed to meet the dietary requirements of baby chicks, especially the broilers, which is meant for meat. Generally speaking, baby chicks can live comfortably on a diet of starter feed and water for the first six weeks of their life before progressing into finisher or grower for laying bears. The high protein content help the young chick grow into playful pullets or broilers. However, it is imperative that you phase out the starter feed once they are six weeks old, if it is for laying beds. But four weeks old, you are good to go to change the feed for broilers and start giving them finisher. And this will give you a very good result. Otherwise, the excess protein can cause liver damage. To complicate matters, there are varieties of feed known as starter grower feed, which is essentially a type of feed that chicken can eat from day 1 to 20 weeks of age. But always read or visit this channel to make sure you get up-to-date information. The grower feed in many ways is like chicken feed for teenage bears. The diet requirement for a chicken between 6 to 20 weeks of old is very different from a baby chick. Essential grower feed contains a protein that is between 16 to 18 as earlier mentioned, but has less calcium than regular layer feed. In an eggshell, grower feed support the continuing growth of your teenage chickens with the, or without bombarding them with unnecessary vitamins and minerals that are more suited for fully grown laying hens. To get the low down on when you es should expect the first egg from your pullet, make sure you have your hand on one of my book, Feed Formulation Poetry. It is very important. That book is a 550-page book. It gives you all the details of what I'm teaching here right now. And you gain more if you get that book. You have done yourself a very good, you have done a very good thing to yourself by having that book handy always with you as a farmer. The layers chicken feed. For most of your flock life, their diet will predominantly consist of layers feed. 
Layers feed has an indigenous balance of protein, casual and other vitamins and minerals that encourages top egg laying ability in your flock. Feeding layers feed to baby chick or young pullet, however, will not meet their unique dietary requirements. Layers feed should only be fed to chickens around 20 weeks of age or once they have started to lay eggs. If you have been trying to cook up new strategies to get more eggs from your laying hen, then you should definitely need to give this layers feed to your bears when they have started laying or when they have laid, laid up to 10% of the egg life. We have different types of feed. We have different texture of feed also. In texture, we have the mash. To put it simply, mash is a loose and unprocessed version of chicken feed. Similarly to that of texture of putting soy, mash is the finest variety of chicken feed commonly available. Mash is normally used for baby chickens as it is easy to digest. However, it is not uncommon for fully mature ch or chickens to feed to be fed with mash. So chickens, big chickens, can still feed with mash and they are also comfortable. Be mindful, however, of the fact that this method can cause the feed to expire more quickly. The main issue with the mash variety of chicken feed is that its texture often results in an increase or accidental waste. So bear in mind that when you are feeding them mash, they can pour the feed away and it will mix with the floor and they cannot pick it. But if it is pellet, they can easily locate it no matter how thick their floor is. The next feed texture is the crumble. It is Combo is a coarse variety of mash, but not as compact of pellet. Combo is a semi-loose variety of chicken feed that is slightly easier to manage than mash. Some chicken use crumble to bridge the gap between mash and pellet for their chicks. The last but not the least is the pellet. Pellets are perhaps the most common variety of chicken feed available. Just like it sounds, pellets are essential little compact cylinder of chicken feed. One of the benefits of using pellets is that they hold their shape nice, which means they won't go to waste it if you are best pour the feed out accidentally. They can still pick them from anywhere the feed are spread. They are easy to manage, store, and serve. Pellets often become the first choice for most backyard chicken keepers. Then we have the medicated and unmedicated feed. Medicated chicken feed is common among starter and grower varieties as it is an easy way to help prevent coccidiosis and other fowl diseases in their flock. Simply put, medicated feed contains amprolin, which is a chemical that help protect your chicks from dangerous and deadly diseases that they can catch when they are young. This being said, do not use medicated feed if your chicken have been vaccinated as the effects of the amprolin are not compatible with vaccination. The next one is the fermented feed. Fermenting your chicken feed is an easy way to improve its vitamin and enzyme content of their feed, as well as making the feed easier to digest for your chick. Why also neutralizing toxicity? Another benefit of fermenting feed is that due to its density, it helps your chicken feed fuller for longer. That means that the weekly cost of chicken feed will decrease and your chicken will also do very well. If you want to find out more of this on feed fermentation, go through my book, Feed Formulation Poultry. Equipment needed to produce your homemade feed. Making your own feed requires some equipment. With these equipment or machines, you can easily grind your feed. Number one is the grinder. The grinder helps you to break down the feed components into smaller units. 
to the extent that the bears can easily feed them. And they have different dimensions, different sizes of that grinding machine. You set the grinding machine according to the type of or the age of the bed you want the feed or you want to produce the feed for. The next one is the mixer. The mixer helps you to gather and turn all the meat, all the feed ingredients to form one unified component. You have the crusher. The crusher crushes all the stones, limestones, bone, and other stronger components and pulverize them to a smaller unit. Feed ingredients like the blood meal are very strong. Feed ingredients like the bone are very strong. And the limestone, they are very strong. You cannot use the grinding machine to crush them. You must use the crusher. So these three machines are very important. You have the scale for measuring your feed ingredients. In the last video of this training, you will see a proper mixture and equipment used in producing the, your homemade feed. And in this video, at the last end of this video, you will see the pictures of those equipments and how they are being assembled. So make sure you watch this video to, um, to the end. How can I make my broiler gain 4 kg in 6 weeks and my layers have jumbo eggs? 1. Make sure you sort the broilers according to their body size and weight. Make sure you give them adequate heat during brooding. The brooding stage is very important in the life of broilers or every chick. If you, didn't, if you give them adequate heat, they will be able to eat uniformly. If the heat source is not adequate, they will gather together and there will be a lot of stampeding and you will lose. And many of them will not eat and that will at the same time affect their growth. Remember, Leah said here that the feed conversion rate or ratio of the broiler or all bears is at the early stage of their life, between the one to fourth week. Secondly, formulate and give them an excellent broiler feed. If possible, let the started, starting feed or the starter be mash and let it have up to 24% crude protein. Use broiler grower promoters and enhancers. Make sure you have at least two animal source of protein, blood meal and fish meal inclusive in their feed if you are making your own feed. And if you are buying the market feed, make sure you balance the feed because most of the market or commercial feed are not richly, are not adequate. Many of them cut corners. Bear this in mind. Avoid starving the broiler chicken.